Hello, my people. This is Expressive Tone TV. Convey your thoughts and feelings to the world. My people, hmm. what did I see just now? It surprised me. Oh, now it make me say, make I run, make I can't tell you now. I beg. If you never subscribe to my channel, what do you they wait for now? And I got that I beg you. Subscribe to my channel. I don't tell you, say, I go they bring better, better information they can't give you. Make you always they like the video, press the notification bell. So that anytime when I drop video like this, now you go be the first to know, my people. Hey, wait here I see, I no go fit talk amu. <clears throat> Una no see, some of this video, I beg no let another person hear. Oh. Some of this uh, motto them way that they carry the comb, so. That they carry the comb Nigeria, carry the go Ghana, all this our country. They, you know say that they achieve some of them for that side. <laughs> I no talk say that they achieve them, oh. They know they thief them. He get one kind of breeze where they blow. When all these people just walk up past like this, some of the motto them go just waka he go enter cheap bam he does see himself for nigeria now waiting they happen be that too that they achieve some of this motto he get one of the motto then when he be say they they they, they, they carry from one man and no talk say then tifa mo they carry him as they carry him now he gets some people now where don't they investigate say they notice say many of all these their motto them say now nah, they they work out they they work out they come they work out they come they come african country now they go they find all the car shop them they come see them for ghana hmm the thing surprised me oh they come see them for ghana even the 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 paper of the motto the person for where get the motto in phone number everything is still there for for inside the motto i don't understand the guy when he achieve and come so he not even remove all those things so tell everything still there inside he just carry and come like that <laughs> now say make a call tell you now uh, sorry, no go be our case so, so that in case say God <laughs> we feel buy any motor like that may not be like say they go come trace the motor come say na stolen car na we buy. I beg no be me talk amo make on a watch video. See you in my next video. Cheers. Peace out. In one car, a phone number for the original owner Leonard. I'm gonna phone him. Might be too early for a phone call. Or maybe looking at a number they don't recognize. Hello? Hi, is that Leonard? Yeah. Leonard, this is going to sound like a really weird call. Um, my name is David Common. I'm calling from CBC News. We're doing an investigation into stolen vehicles. And I'm pretty sure I'm sitting in your once stolen vehicle in West Africa. Yeah, I'm in West Africa. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Do you... Do you mind if I FaceTime you? Uh, I don't mind at all. This uh, look like your car? That's it. That's it. It was stolen um, September, October of last year. And what happened? So we were going out that day in the morning. My wife went out to get the car and uh, it wasn't in the driveway. When we checked the camera, the video from the camera from the ring uh, doorbell, at about three in the morning, you see a car and two guys pull up towards the driveway. And about four minutes later, the light goes off, they're gone, the car's gone from the driveway. And it's the second car stolen in six years. Really? From my driveway, yeah. yeah. I know this is probably not the call you expected today, but your ownership is still in the glove box. Um, here's your car. There's a car that still has a New Jersey license plate on it. The car stolen from North York over there. I can't believe it. And, and my documents and everything are still in there. Yeah. <laughs> that is Long distance thieving part two. <laughs> that is crazy. Crazy indeed, but Len is hardly alone. Eastbound 47, about 190, 200. Auto theft in Canada has never been this bad. High speed chases, home invasions, violent carjackings, but rarely do the bad guys get caught. Last year, they stole 27,000 cars from the Greater Toronto and Hamilton area alone, one every 17 minutes. A large portion of them are actually leaving the country. You'll see about 80% of them uh, going out through the ports. Detective Mark Haywood of Peel Regional Police is one of Canada's foremost specialists on theft for export. 
uh, much easier to sell 15 cars on the black market than it is to sell 15 keys of cocaine or 15 illegal guns. And they're seeing that profitability. Just how big? Deputy Chief Nick Milinovic. Last year in 2022, there was over a billion dollars worth of vehicles uh, that were stolen across Canada. And it's now one of the top three uh, funders of organized crime. So it's big business, big profit for them. Huge, huge. This was the spot it was stolen from? In <laughs> yes, Oakville, right. Ontario. It was parked right here. We arrived home from Greg and Lynn uh, Gannett became the just the latest of their neighbors to be targeted. Uh, we walked outside and, and the car was not there. They just drove it away, basically. Like it was, it was amazing actually how quickly they were able to steal it. So smoothly, the thieves only barely triggered this motion capture camera. When police arrived, they told them the car is gone forever. It's probably already on its, its way to Montreal, yeah. <laughs> going to Africa or some other foreign country. Yeah. After a steal, thieves move cars quickly to shipping containers where GPS tracking is muffled, then placed on tractor trailers or rail lines to the port of Montreal. What countries are those cars ending up in? Several. We're seeing a lot of them go to the UAE, to Dubai. There's uh, Nigeria is a hotbed for that. Ghana is another place that they're showing up in. It's scary and increasingly violent. But we've come to Greg and Lynn because of a stunning discovery. Um, we think we found your car. Wow. We believe we found your car located in the West African nation of Ghana. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> and uh, it's for sale. Oh, well, isn't that interesting? So here's the next thing. We're gonna actually try to see your car Oh, wow. <laughs> We're going to go to Ghana. Excellent. It is a long journey into a world full of snatched cars. This vehicle reported stolen in Ontario. was stolen from Saint Laurent, Quebec, Ottawa, Ontario in 2023. This vehicle stolen in Ontario. Cars seized by Ghana's Economic and Organized Crime Office. We are doing all that we can to ensure that at least, if not to eradicate all, we can actually bring it to the barest minimum. Alex Lindsay runs surveillance for the office. Even he admits all this is just the tip of the iceberg. I think the Canadian courts need to be more proactive in trying to stop it before even it gets down here. Okay, this is wild. We're just driving along through traffic. There's a car with a Quebec license plate on the road in front of the organized crime authorities, just driving along. That car bails from traffic, quite possibly a new arrival. Just take a look as we slow drive past all the used car dealers. Is it very likely these vehicles we're seeing are stolen? Yes. They, they are? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Indeed, Lexus, Honda, Dodge Rams, Toyota, some of the most stolen vehicles in Canada now here for sale openly. Even law enforcement has to be careful. They have issued threats to officers that the next time probably we come to retrieve cars, they are going to um, um, fight. So we have us. to be very careful driving So we by. have to be very careful. Back at headquarters, we sit down with the office's deputy director. We do encounter some few resistance. Abdullah Bashiru Dapila tells us how they know which vehicles to seize based on intelligence from the FBI. So the situation we have with respect to these vehicles is such that, yes, we are collaborating with the FBI. The FBI has uh, given us evidence that the vehicles were stolen from Canada and then the United States. Dapila says he needs Canada to step up to stop the flow in the first place. It sounds to me like Canadian law enforcement, in your mind, could be doing a lot more. Yes. No Canadian agency, except, except through the FBI, has approached us directly or made a formal complaint to us directly. We've tracked Lynn and Greg's car to this lot in Ghana, and we're going looking for it. We understand there was a vehicle that was reported stolen from Canada that ended up at this dealership, at this lot. Hey. The workers get agitated quickly. Do you sell stolen vehicles here? 
but the lot is full of the most stolen vehicle types in Canada. Do you mind if I look at the VIN numbers and just see, uh... They push back and approach our camera operator. Why are you taking pictures of... I'm Liz? filming my journalist. No, you don't, you don't have the right to take the pictures here. Because, like, if I look at this Acura, like, this is the kind of damage that happens when they put them in shipping containers when they're stolen. So do you mind if I look at the, the VIN? We've been warned this is risky, so we head out to call up Lynn and Greg. Kind of suspicious. Okay, we have been to the dealership that your car was last seen at. And guess what? It's not there anymore. Um, it appears they may have sold it. It's incredible to us that, that you are where you are at the lot where you, you know you tracked us from the car from Ontario across across you know the world to Ghana. Long distance thieving part Next three we go inside the fight to stop cars from being stolen. We've just retrieved one of those vehicles back from them. We've caused the disruption, and uh, that's the goal. This ship has just come into port in Montreal, loaded with stolen cars being returned to Canada, intercepted by authorities in Malta halfway through their voyage. Our investigators, they will cut that shortly. The Range Rover by Land Rover is the first vehicle. The shopping list of the most stolen vehicles. Looks like they've taken care and it's in good shape. Again, really push button start, SUV or pickup truck are really the targeted vehicles and that's the theme that we're seeing here as well. Investigator Brian Gast works with the Equite Association. It works to reduce the massive claims member insurance companies now face from ballooning auto theft. The first thing that comes to my mind, the, the crisis that's happening in Ontario and Quebec, is we've just retrieved one of those vehicles back from them. We've caused the disruption and uh, that's the goal. Plus, there are clues here. Out of the shipping containers, vehicles get a more forensic examination. So we're just looking at any of the damage that they, uh, th they made to steal the vehicle, looking to see how the, the vehicle was stolen. This was an onboard diagnostic port attack, or OBD. They remove that part to get access to the computer of the vehicle to reprogram the key. So it's a reprogramming theft. And then we have uh, relay attacks where you have somebody at the front uh, doorbell or your front of your residence what, with what looks to be an antenna. They're trying to intercept the re radio frequency between that uh, key fob and the vehicle. Okay. So how many times has your car been stolen? Three times. Over how long? We originally okay. met Natalie Cara after the and first theft. Here it is, a suspected relay attack in her driveway at home. The car was recovered thanks to a GPS system on board. Months later, she looked out the window at work. Here. Here. Yeah. And you're you're watching them steal yeah. your car from that window. Yeah, correct. She told Three me, men, one getaway car, car, and Natalie and confronts looking, them. I'm, I'm looking and I'm like, no! <laughs> and I'm coming out and yelling at them. I'm, I'm like, what are you guys doing? And uh, they got afraid. So one of the guys went into the car and I was face to face like you and I. Like this close. This close, even closer. <laughs> And then I said, and all hood, black jeans, hood, and then the mask. And then he said, sorry, he said, sorry, jumped in the car, and then off they went. Looking at the damage, this is the newest form of theft. Under that damaged wheel well is the CAN bus. Thieves connect to a port there and can quickly unlock and start the car. It's a weak point. Yeah. And I asked Lexus what they're doing about this, and they're working on it. We hear that from a lot of automakers. Yeah, yeah. they're working on it. 